This video explains how to get the index of a certain column in a pandas data frame using the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. As a very first step in this tutorial, we need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then we also need to create an example data frame using the data frame constructor. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame called data is created. And we can print this data frame using the print function below the code box. And then you can see that we have created a new data frame containing seven rows and the four columns x1, x2, x3 and x4. Now let's assume that we want to extract a certain index position of one of these columns. So more precisely in this specific example I want to extract the index position of the column x3. Then we can apply the get log function, as you can see in the next line of code, in combination with the columns attribute of the data frame. And within the get log function, we need to specify a character string which contains the name of the column for which we want to return the index position. So after running this line of code, the value 2 is returned, and the value 2 is the index position of the column x3. And you have to remember that in Python data frames, the indices are counted from zero to the number of columns in a data frame. So for that reason, the column x1 would have the index position zero, the column x2 would have the index position one. And as you have just seen, the column x3 has the index position two. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.